Mmm, this science is delicious. This is rock candy. It's basically crystallized sugar, and you make it by turning a solid into a liquid and then back to a solid again. Here's how you can make it at home. You need a container that you're not gonna need for a while and some water, some sugar. You can use brown or white. I like to use brown and an adult. Here's why you need an adult. You wanna dissolve three cups of sugar into every cup of water. And you can't do that unless you heat the water. So get an adult, a saucepan, and heat the water up, pour the sugar in, and keep stirring until it's all dissolved. Then pour it in your container and let it cool down. Then you'll need a shish kebab skewer, which is something you can get at the grocery store. Cut it down to the right size so it fits nicely into your container. And then dunk it in your sugar and get some crystals coated around the stick. These are seed crystals and they get the whole process started. And now you have to wait for these to dry, otherwise they'll just fall off the stick when you put it in the water. So I've got one here that has dried out. You'll also want something to keep it from falling in the top of the container, so I'm gonna use a clothespin. Put it in there and dunk it in the container like that. And now for the final step, if you want, you can add food coloring. I like to use red because it reminds me of science. And I'm gonna use the stick to actually stir that up a little bit. There we go. Now, the dissolved sugar crystals in the water will slowly grow on the crystals that are already attached to the stick, and it will eventually grow into a rock candy pop. But it takes about a week. No, I'm just kidding, I've already got one that's standing by. Here we go. This one has been growing for about seven days. And there you go, rock candy. Delicious science. Now, how could we make this any better? I mean, it's crystallized sugar. It doesn't get any more maxed out than that, does it? Yeah, it does, come on. This is a giant container of sugar water, and I've been brewing a massive rock candy uh, crystal in it for a while, but uh, it's sort of, uh, it's sort of getting a little bit too big to fit out the top of the container, so. Uh, um, you know what, I'm just gonna put that back in there and chalk that one up to science because, well, eating a rock candy crystal that big would definitely not be good for my teeth, so, yeah. This is liquid nitrogen. Nitrogen makes up most of the air we breathe, but if you get it really, really cold, it turns into a liquid. The fun thing is you can use it to make other things really, really cold too, like this banana. I have frozen this banana solid thanks to the liquid nitrogen, and normally a mushy banana would not be able to hammer in a nail, but, whoa, because it's frozen, I can hammer this nail into this block of wood. So that got me wondering, if I can turn a banana into a hammer using liquid nitrogen, could I turn a pumpkin into a sledgehammer? Let's find out. Pumpkin sledgehammer, take one. No, I, I think the answer is no, you cannot turn a pumpkin into a sledgehammer with liquid nitrogen. All you can do is make a really, really big mess. I'm gonna have to clean this up, aren't I? <laughs>